Hello everyone, in this tutorial, we will see how to add or input military time in Excel. It is usually recorded in HHMM format where the first two digits represent hours and the last two digits represent minutes. On top of that, use of colons to separate the hours and minutes is avoided preferably. For example, 4 p.m. is recorded as 1600, 6.30 a.m. is recorded simply as 6.30 and so on. Now, if you enter 1600 in Excel, it does not recognize it as a time value, rather, simply as a number. To confirm, let's format it as any standard time format, for example, HH colon MM, and as expected, it does not work. But, if you enter 16 followed by a colon and double zeros, it will be recorded as 4 p.m. as you can see in the formula bar. If you are only concerned about the formatting, then input the actual time value and apply the HHMM formatting to show them as military time. Contrarily, you can type in the time without colons and format them as 00 backslash colon 00 using the custom number format. And then, you can use formulas to convert them to actual time values if you need to send the data or make calculations and so on. So, let's see one example for that. First, insert the time function. Then, divide the number by 100 and use the integer part for the hour argument. Multiply the hour part by 100 and subtract it from the whole number for the minute argument and a zero for the second argument. On top of that, you can include a condition using the if function to trigger the formula only when there is an input. Next, just copy the formula throughout the column. Finally, let's see how to input the time just as 1600 and make Excel consider it as an actual time value for 4 p.m. and so on automatically. First, right-click on the Sheet tab and select View Code. When the VBA window appears, insert a worksheet change event. Then use this code and change the target column according to your data set. Now, type in the military time in any cell in the target range and it will be recorded as an actual time value. Format the column as needed and you are all set. Before ending, I have another quick tips to share with you. Let's enter two date times into two different cells like this. Suppose we need the total duration between the two times. So let's subtract them and format them as HH colon MM for hours and minutes. But it is not working because the correct output is obviously more than 24 hours. In that case, the proper formatting will be H inside square brackets, colon, MM like this. Then you will get the correct value. And that's it for this tutorial. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.